Hey, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie, my loves, my Geminis. I'm going to get started on this reading for you today. See what spirit has for today's reading. Wow, look at you, Gemini. Gosh, you always get the best cards. Um, wow, look at this. This is nothing short of amazing. Guys, there is nothing but money all over this, okay? Um, we have wealth and prosperity here. We have you working diligently, working hard, okay? And I feel like spirit knows this. Spirit sees that you guys have just been, you know, killing yourselves, trying to keep your heads above water, trying to um, just, you know, emotionally get through this, um, just looking over your shoulder, waiting for the next shoe to drop uh, with your finances. Um, so you guys have been working really hard trying to get through this period. I am seeing this Knight of Pentacles dead center in your reading, guys. This is amazing, all right? This is an offer. This is the offer. This is the prosperity. And this is your hard work. It almost looks like Spirit is gifting you because they know that you're going through such difficult times and here they're saying this is this is what is coming this is what you're going to be going through feeling in a short while okay uh much stability security um financial security uh you're going to feel protected loved and you're going to be able to take a deep breath and relax okay um let's see what else spirit has All right, Gemini, there's more for you, okay? This is for all of my Geminis. Here they're showing confusion and endings, okay? So a lot of you have been, you know, some of you have have just figured out that, you know, it's time to get rid of the negativity. And some of you, you know, might find that this is like a sudden thought. Like this just came uh, upon you one day, like the things that you thought were making you happy before, uh, you're feeling completely disconnected to and you know they're no longer um, helping you out, okay? So I'm seeing endings coming. I'm seeing all these confusing things are coming to an end. Um, you're looking forward to something different now. You're stepping out of this matrix. I'm seeing a victory for you. I'm seeing you getting much clarity on what it means, what it's going to take for you to get these victories in your life. And I'm also seeing this Knight of Cups bringing in this love, okay? So, you know, be kind to yourselves, be loving to yourselves, Gemini, but also we need to make this effort to start being kind to others, okay? Um, we are moving into this thousand years of peace now, and, you know, we're going to be creating a whole different world for ourselves, all right? So... Um, the main part of this is going to be love. Uh, anybody who's moving into the fifth dimension, the fifth dimension can only hold your spirit if you are, if you have love in your heart. Okay. If you are, you know, just have issues with anger and you hold on to that kind of thing and you're always looking at your glass as being half empty, um, you know, we need to work on that and try to change it up because that's not the vibration in the fifth dimension. So for those of you wanting to, you know, to me, the fifth dimension is, you know, a whole new way of life, a whole new feeling, a whole new emotion about who I am, why I'm here and where I want to go in life. Okay. And we're going to basically be, um, rebuilding, um, what's being destroyed right now the way we want to rebuild it okay so how does that sound that sounds pretty friggin awesome to me and it's going to be absolutely everything you can think of is going to be um torn down or rebuilt okay so here i'm seeing some kind of movement um uh, and again i'm seeing people walking away all right here's this king of swords over here and in the center i have the queen of wands and then i have this commitment card in the middle so there is some kind of commitment here um, for, for the Geminis, um, and I just heard this month, all right, for, for the rest of the month, okay? There's some kind of commitment. Let's go further and see what that is. 
Okay, so dead center, we have a feeling left out in the cold financially, all right? And we here we have the King of Cups, which is in this layout. This is someone uh, very loving and giving and loyal, all right? So we have this loyalty next to this uh, these two cards actually showing, you know, people just what they're going through, and what they're feeling, what my Gemini's are going through, just feeling left out in the cold financially for a lot of you. A lot of you are feeling very guarded right now, very, you know, negative. Um, I can understand why there's a lot of negativity in the in the ether and there's also negativity blaring from the 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 boob thing, you know. I have to be careful what I say. Um, I don't want my channel to go away. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of negativity that um, people are feeling right now. Some of it is coming from the energy outside because things are being uh, taken down right now that have been very negative, okay? So we're feeling this, but we're only going to... This is temporary, guys, okay? And this is something we, we have to go through to get to the other side. If we didn't go through this, we would never... Um, have anything to look forward to and we do have a lot to look forward to all right a brand new life a brand new planet everything's going to be like I said rebuilt from the from the bottom up but you know this time around it's going to be us we're going to be in control of everything so we're going to be consciously making it beautiful okay we're going to be working as a team all right and Gemini's you have a, a big role to play in this Okay. All right. Let's see what else. All right. This is very spiritual, Gemini. We have the Queen of Cups here and the High Priestess here. This is my card of intuition. Very spiritual. This is my card of, you know, abilities. Very spiritual. So this is showing that a lot of you Geminis, even those of you who you know, boohoo this or aren't conscious of having these powers, these abilities, you do have some sort of abilities, okay? There's going to be a balancing out. I see uh, moving into this new waters, I'm going to say this new realm, and a lot of things in this realm waiting for you, okay? Um, I keep seeing over and over again this prosperity, this wealth, okay? Um, I never get tired of this, and I hope you're not, because this is showing up for a reason, okay? Um, here you go, all right? So this is, you know, seeing money coming in and building up in your account. This is happiness and joy, okay? And this is feeling strong again, you know, coming back, becoming the person you were meant to be, Gemini, and doing it in a partnership. People are going to start understanding that we are all connected. And not only should we be more kind to ourselves right now than we've ever been, some of us are not kind at all. Some of us are, you know, we don't, we're not even conscious of ourselves. We're just like this blob moving through life, going through the, the you know, get up, turn the clock off, go to work, do this. That's not living your life, guys. There's a whole different way to go about this so you could start feeling joy and happiness, okay? Get in a state of gratefulness and start connecting to what you're doing. Stay in the moment, okay? Stay in the moment. Pretty soon, guys, what is coming is going to be such a relief for you, such a... Um, it's going to be something you never thought you would ever see, all right? But I'm seeing... People have to connect to this. They have to connect to themselves and understand that we are all, you know, one consciousness and we can create whatever we want. This is going to be your justice, Gemini. Uh, what is coming? All this joy, happiness, and your strength is going to become your justice. Here I'm seeing a lot of you are feeling ignored and brokenhearted and lost, like, you know, no hope, no more hope. Um, just focused on trying to get through each day, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, having financial difficulties and feeling completely like you're, you're by yourself in this. But the truth is guys, a lot of people are going through this. So you're not in this alone. We're, we, you know, think about it this way, you know, um, we're all connected. We're all really related in, in a way, right? 
we all came from God. So, you know, these are your brothers and sisters out there that are doing the almost the exact same thing you are at the exact same time. So you're not the only one suffering. There are many, many people around you. And that's why it's so important for you to be kind. Even if you're suffering, even if you're having a terrible day, do something small. It could just be smile at somebody. Give someone a smile. Uh, somebody drop something, pick it up for them, you know, especially if they're elderly. Um, little things that don't cost money that, that are kind, you know, do these things. You're going to feel so good um, when you see the person you you did something for light up over these tiny little things that you're you're doing okay it makes a difference Gemini you make a difference okay here I'm seeing um hmm okay so this is some kind of judgment regarding this over here this is not good guys okay um but in the center, I'm seeing you free of this. So I feel like whatever the these things are that people are going through, you are going to be free of these things shortly. And I have this uh, spiritual card over here. This is spirit having your back. All right. And again, this is the uh, card of stability. This is the stability card. All right. So let's see what else, Gemini. All right, so I feel like this could be like um, two brothers or, you know, friends. Um, this is this is about caring for one another and love, okay? Um, this is somebody, you know, this could be love. This could be a relationship as well. I'm seeing somebody coming in quickly. Um, this is generally a very romantic person, this Knight of Swords, um, coming in fast. This person is um, very secure in themselves very self-confident okay and also i have the knight of wands in the center so uh i don't know what the connection is here but i'm seeing a lot of love and a lot of happiness here some kind of uh, wish fulfillment coming to fruition okay so let's go further and see what else we have All right, so we have um, new beginnings and a lot of happiness connected to these beginnings with the manifestation card. All right, Gemini, so you are totally able to manifest. And let me just add that we're living in a time, a period, a spiritual time where we can manifest within minutes, sometimes seconds if you're vibrating high okay what do you mean if we're vibrating high well everything is energy everything vibrates including you and you know the higher you're vibrating the happier you're going to feel and the easier you will be able to manifest okay so if you're a person who is always thinking there's a black cloud following you there's you know waiting for the next shoe to drop life sucks you know people suck everything sucks this is not reality this is your reality and we all have a choice in choosing believe it or not okay our own reality and your thoughts and feelings and emotions create your reality uh for instance Let's just say, you know, you're cruising down the road. Somebody gives you the middle finger. Um, you know, it's going to piss you off. And then you're late for work because you're hitting every light. So you'll start to notice that your vibration drops when you're feeling, you know, mad or unhappy. So you're starting to realize that it's one thing after another because you're having these negative thoughts. And when you have a negative thought, usually the next thought is something negative and you'll notice that if you do notice it if you want to notice it right so we're creating like one negative thought after another and when this happens you're going to notice that you know another negative thing is going to find you and this is the law of the universe okay so when you're vibrating down here because you're unhappy or you're just 
noticing every negative thing and nothing positive, all right, because, oh, everything's negative. So there are positive things that happen to you every day, trust me. I don't care who you are, or how bad you think your life is. You're just not noticing because your brain is trained to focus out on the negative. So when you're vibrating down here, there's nothing down here good, just more negative thinking. But when you switch that up and get in a state of gratefulness and remind yourself every day what you're grateful for, your vibration starts to come up, all right, and you start feeling better. Then you start having more positive thoughts. You're focusing on one positive thing instead of the 10 other things that happened that day that were negative. Focus in on the positive. Your vibration raises even more. When you're up here, this is where all the goodies are that you want. Now, the universe also vibrates, okay? It's called the Schumann Resonance. And this has to come meet you at the level that you're vibrating at, okay? There's different levels of vibration. Everyone vibrates at a different level. Now, when the Schumann Resonance or the vibration of the planet comes in to meet you, now you can manifest like a ninja, okay? So that is, you know, how we manifest. You have to be... A, in a feel good mood. I'm not saying that life is perfect and you're never going to get angry again or you should never feel bad or negative or it happens to everybody. Okay. But here they're saying that your happiness and, you know, the way that you feel is, you know, right next to the manifestation card, it decides, you decide if you're going to be stuck and, you know, be in these situations where you have little to no more or little to no money. You can actually create having, you know, depending on your words. Your words are very powerful. So you have to be careful also how you use your words. The universe doesn't understand, like when you say, um, you're trying to manifest, for instance, and you say, um, I have no money. I want more money. You know, they, the universe might get the, 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 you know, I don't really understand it completely. This is just how I understand it, but this is in a sense, correct. I just, this is how I can explain it to you. All right. They hear no money. That's what they hear. Okay. So they don't hear. So grant me some more money the, you know, you have to be careful with every word that you say. Words are powerful. So you have to say it like. I'm going to manifest, you know, a million dollars. I'm going to manifest so much money, you know, a great amount of money. Just watch your, you know, watch your words. So here I'm seeing this empress. Uh, this is also, um, could be a single parent here with a child or children. Um, you're going through some kind of tower moment right now. This is about to change. This is about to turn around for you for the better um, in a big huge way you have this ace of wands in the middle and you have the ten of pentacles alongside okay so this is a great amount of um, abundance coming your way and love there is a lot of things tied into this card it's one of the best cards in the deck gemini you have a lot of abundance around you prosperity and love okay usually in this card is you're either with this person already, this could be a soulmate, or you're getting ready to meet this person. Um, if you're single, um, and you're not married, and you're, even if you're unhappily married, this could still be somebody um, that will be coming in for you that is like a soulmate, somebody you're meant to be with, okay? So if you're in these negative relationships, guys, and they're not going anywhere, and they're making you unhappy, why are you staying, all right? Um, there is no amount of money that's worth your happiness. I'd rather have little money than be rich and unhappy for my whole life. Okay, because that money isn't really making you happy. I don't know, that's how I look at it. Here in the middle, you have this very positive, very spiritual card. This is spirit telling you they have your back. This is coming for you, all right? And it's going to blossom. It's going to flourish. And it's just going to get better and better as time goes on. And so, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, if you're interested, I do offer $20 readings. If you like um, the readings, the daily readings, please like and subscribe so you'll know when the next reading comes out. 
Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day.